When we started with the project, we had a typical image about a village in our mind that Indian villages are plagued with miseries. Life is difficult out there. People are poor. People are hungry. People are weird. People are farmers. After all, this is what we have heard of, we have read and personally been through. We went ahead with this stereotype image and trust me, Govinda gone. Because the village that we visited had none of these issues. Let us take you through a confounding village that we went to. To the village Bilve. Bilve is a small village located in the Kundapura Taluk of Udupi district, about 60 kilometers from Manipal. Apart from paddy, arachnut, and coconut cultivation, Bilve is known for cashew cultivation. As a result of which, four cashew factories operate in this village. From these cashew factories, primarily women are able to earn about 400 rupees per day and a three-time meal. To our surprise, only 17% of the people are engaged in farming activities. Nearly 30% of the people are engaged in milk industry. The milk is then sold to a local dairy based out of Bilve. The village has a sex ratio of 1060, which is higher than the Karnataka state average. Benchmarking Karnataka standards, Bilve has a higher literacy rate. Male literacy rate stands at 84% and female literacy at 72%. There are two higher secondary schools in the village and five graduate colleges for arts, science, including a nursing and an engineering college. Villagers also had an inclination towards entertainment. Every house has a TV and dish connection. The electricity supply was for 12 to 14 hours a day with no power cuts at night. The main water source for the people is underground water. There is a lack of public transport. Only eight buses fly throughout the day, which are run by private transporters. Out of the many things that we found in this village, investment pattern of women was an interesting observation. No matter how less they earn, they showed willingness to invest in gold. Few considered gold investment as a means to secure their future. While for some, gold investment was meant for emergency requirement. We went to the cooperative bank and asked one of the employees about the customers of the bank. Most of the account holders in this bank are women. Also women hold more loan accounts than men do. The average income of account holders is 4000 rupees per month. What are the various loan schemes available with the bank? There are many loan schemes available with the bank. The most preferred loan schemes are crop loan at 0% rate, milch loan at 13% and personal loans at 15% rate of interest. However, for women, personal loan is available at 11% rate of interest. As we were talking to the employee, she told us an interesting fact. We all know that people take loan on gold. But we found a counterintuitive behavior. People were using loan for buying gold. People here take subsidized loans meant for agriculture or milch purposes. But they use nearly one-fifth of loan amount to buy gold. This has been observed in nearly 70% of the cases. After listening to this, we could surely make out that it is an unethical thing that villagers are doing. By buying gold from the subsidized loan. So we thought of further inquiring this. We went to the Gram Sabha and talked to the people there. No, we don't buy gold on the loan amount. We buy it from the savings that we do. We buy it so that we can use it for our children's education. I'm able to save rupees 100 per day. I have never taken a loan from the bank because the procedure is very complex. I'm a part of Dharmasthala group 
and I have been taking loan from there. Though the villagers kept denying that they don't buy gold from the loan amount, but an invisible demand for gold is getting created as a result of this counterintuitive behavior. While our field visit, we encountered one auto driver, Pradeep. To our amazement, what he told us next was something we didn't expect. He told us that villagers come to him for buying apparels and footwears from online sites like Amazon and Flipkart. So, you have to say that you have to do this generally. No, my friend is doing the reason for such behavior is that people have to travel to Kundapur where they don't get quality branded items or have to go to Udupi where the cost of traveling is high. Moreover, the village is not well connected by public transport. Which Amazon As we were talking to Mr. Pradeep, we realized maybe there exists an opportunity with e-commerce companies to create village champions, which can act as a potential channel for business. With a little bit of training and commission per sales, e-commerce companies can surely break into untapped rural markets. Only three village visits are not enough to completely understand rural behavior. But there is unmet demand which can surely be met by companies. With this honest effort, we would like to sign off by quoting Mark. India's way is not Europe's way. India is not Bombay and Calcutta. India lives in her seventh